Could you tell us your name, where you're from, and what campaign or organization you're with? My name is Derek Great. I'm from New York, and I am a staff member of 1199 SCIU. Okay. Um, so, Derek, tell us um, why you applied for this year's Advanced Campaign Management School at Wellstone Action. I applied for this year's uh, Wellstone Action Advanced Campaign Management School because I've had some uh, experience with Wellstone some years ago, and I've just heard all the barking about the excitement that this uh, training is offered. And, and Derek, because of your work with 1199, I know that you've also been exposed to some of our labor program work. Um, how do you feel like Wellstone Action actually complements the work that you and your colleagues do at 1199? Oh, God, I'm so excited four days into this training. I, I think that I'm leaving here um, strengthened in areas of weakness and, and more prepared to go out and, and feel confident and competent in all of the various areas and different components of, of uh, managing and operating a campaign. I, I've ne I, in my 20 years as a rank and file and uh, staff member of the union, I've been to a lot of trainings with regards to electoral politics, um, but nothing even compares to this experience. And um, when you were heading here last week, it seems like a long time ago, now on, on Saturday morning, what were the areas that you wanted to build your skills in? I definitely wanted to build my skills in the areas of, of budgeting and fundraising, you know, and targeting and all of that stuff. I've done a lot of it, but at a much lower scale coming in from the labor in and not really having an opportunity to fully manage a campaign. And the uniqueness of, of this training is that not only does it prepare you as a labor person folding into campaigns, but it also prepares you if there was an interest and a likelihood in running for electoral mm -hmm. politics, being a potential candidate, but also managing a large-scale uh, campaign. And when you ended up being here, um, what was, were there any sessions that surprised you about how much you either liked or were challenged by? Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> well definitely the last session that we did, which was the, um, the voter contact mm -hmm. program and the budgeting and all of the various different components and elements that go into that. You know, as a field guy, I've always looked at the number crunches and said, ah, I'm a field guy, they're just number crunches. But I've gained a much greater respect for the amount of work and detail that goes into that. Well, you mentioned uh, running for office. Are you thinking about running for office? Uh, no, I'm a kind of behind the scenes guy yeah. when it comes to politics. Um, do you think that um, candidates who run for office could learn from the Wellstone way? Oh, hugely, hugely. Absolutely, definitely big. And as a matter of fact, you know, based on my experience with Wellstone and what you guys are doing, you know, m my vision, you know, in terms of the Wellstone way is that candidates that get exposed to this program and when they go out there and assume the quote unquote name as the Wellstone candidate, that that the reputation, the uh, investment and commitment to progressive electoral politics that's happening here at Wellstone would send the opposition fleeing to the mountains <laughs> and probably never wanting to run again. <laughs> um, well, let me ask you a broader question now. Um, uh, you know, Wellstone Action exists to uh, in, in, increase and develop new progressive leaders and make progressive change. What is it that got you into this work and what drives you and what do you want to change? Well, what got me into this work is, you know, it's, it's a funny story. Initially, when I started off in the rank and file as a healthcare worker, uh, you know, typically when you don't have the exposure or the education, uh, I somewhat frowned at the union because every time they came, it seemed seemingly they came asking for something. They wanted a favor. They wanted, you know, to mobilize you somehow or to get some money for this thing we call PAC. And uh, one of the uh, the more senior uh, rank and file delegates in my facility sort of pulled me aside and this is what used to happen in those days it happens a lot less frequently now and we need to get back to that sort of pulled me aside and acclimated me to the, the operations of a union, what it's about, how it empowers members, how solidarity brings about respect in the workplace and, you know, giving you a voice to have a living wage and, ha you know, have some dignity in your work environment and all of those sorts of things. And that sort of led to my becoming a delegate, running hmm. and becoming a delegate. And um, uh, within my third year in the rank and file, uh, I was doing that work and ultimately ended up uh, coming on staff about 10, 12 years ago. And what was your job? What were you a rank and file member doing? As a rank and file member, I started out as a CNA, a, a nurse's aide, mm -hmm. and then I upgraded to a nurse tech. And ultimately, when I left the facility to come on staff at the union, I was working as an ER technician. Oh, wow. Okay, great. Was well, there anything else you want to add about the training, about how it's impacted your work? Anything else? Uh, this training is fantastic, and I, I, I'd like to see it go on in the long term. To me, the, you know, 
the Wellstone experience here is more than just an opportunity for training and learning. This, this, this experience is going to go out and actually attribute towards progressive growth in politics and helping to deal with all of the things that we're experiencing in our world with, you know, us being part of the 99% and the 1% of, of the folks out there who are not caring about those that don't have a voice. I think Wellstone is playing a big role in that. And I think that's going to reflect in the candidates that grow through this program. I think it's going to reflect through, you know, the campaign managers and labor leaders and all the other folks who come through this program. So I think it's definitely a very valuable thing to sustain over the long term. All right, thank you.